The world has no place for selfish networkers. Today, I want to talk about networking versus connecting. Oftentimes, when we go to events, we think about, oh, what can I get out of this? I just returned from an event. And while that was part of my mindset, I also had the thought to think about this beforehand. Who can I connect with and encourage and pour into? My friend Brad Lominick, he shared this on a podcast years ago and it continues to ring true in my mind. I was in a room recently with 90 extremely talented, amazing people. Now, my flesh, my insecurity can say, how can I impress those in the room? That's what a networker often does. See, a networker goes to get. Let me tell you about a connector. A connector goes to that room, says, how can I put two people together? Brad describes this as a catalyst. A catalyst creates a spark that leaves no residue of itself. Wow. I believe connectors do leave a residue because they leave that good feeling, that impact that leaders vulnerably and authentically impart on others. I want to encourage you, if you think about how can I network, how can I make connections in order to get somewhere? How about this? How about create connections to help other people get somewhere? Ultimately, they'll take you along too because of the value of bringing that. I want to share a few more thoughts on the difference between networkers and connectors. And networkers are often selfish. They go from event to event trying to find out who can help them get to where they want to go. Connectors go to events in order to meet people, curiously understand and learn about them, not so they can gain for themselves, but they can serve others. See, if I go to an event, I meet my friend Jordan, I'm talking to my friend Chad, and then all of a sudden I realize that Jordan and Chad need to be friends and know each other. See, that's a connector as opposed to a networker who's thinking, if I know Jordan and I know Chad, how can I use this for my benefit? There's a big difference. And I think that ties back into the idea and thought of authentic vulnerability. When we're vulnerable, we're not trying to get for ourselves. See, when we're authentically vulnerable, we're looking to connect with others. I believe this, that the only pathway to influence is connection. The only way you could possibly help people move from this place to that place is by linking arms and connecting with them. Connectors are memorable. Networkers, you want to get out of your memories. Ugh, I don't want to see that guy again. Whereas connectors, you're like, I'm so excited to go be in the room with that person because I know it's not about them and they're looking to serve and impact and benefit others. Connectors look into a room and they say, how can I bring people together? How can I make people feel welcome, invited, and at peace? Networkers work the room. And they look at, all right, I know that guy, he can get this for me. I know that guy, he can get this for me. I know that woman, she can get that. Oh, it's a different feel. It's a different feel because one is closed handed and I grab a hold and get mine. The other is open and say, hey, just eat from my hands. And there's an image often cited in the Bible where there's this thought and idea of Jesus with kids and birds and just open handed, how can I serve? When I think of being a connector, I think of that type of image. I think of how can I make deposits in other people's lives that someday, somehow, it might come to maturity. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I know if I do my best to connect people, one, if I connect with them, I can influence and lead them. But two, if I connect with other people curiously about what their magic piece is then I can help bring people together. Ultimately, I believe the more people I bring together, the more opportunities for myself. It's proven out, but I had to be vulnerable. I had to be authentic in order to get there because there were days in my past when I would look to network. I would look to go and say, who could be my client? Who could be help me get here or there? I remember once there was a guy I worked with. His name was Doug was an amazingly talented person. His greatest talent was his ability to connect people. Back in the day, this was 20 some years ago, I used to say his greatest attribute, value, and skill set was his Rolodex, his phone, his contact list. He knew to who to go to for help and assistance. So I encourage you, be vulnerable, be authentic, 
be you. Because when you do that, you connect with people. When you're trying to be someone you're not, that's when you take on the form of a networker. And as my friend Brad says, the world has no place for selfish networkers. Maybe he doesn't say that, I say that, but the epitome is go be a connector. Be authentic and vulnerable and aim to serve people. That's where you'll make the biggest impact.